Hello you beautiful guys and girls. We have just got back from an absolutely huge Aldi shop. Kids are took it in to a little happy meal. I got um, a little snacky snack here. So we're gonna eat our McDonald's and then I'm gonna put out all these stuff. We spent around, I can't see me. Spent around just over 200 pounds. So, and there was some stuff on my list which I didn't even manage to get. Um, not much, only like five, six items. Um, but I'll go through that all with you in a second. You want to show them your happy meal? Mom, is that toy? What toy did you get? Mommy, we did it. Oh, I did, have to open it. What toy did you get? You don't want them. Let me have them. Winnie can have it. Here you go, darling. Mmm. Okay guys, here we are with the first half of the Aldi haul. We have a huge pile down here, which we will go through in a second. But we'll start with what is up here. Um, so obviously a load of soy milk, as always. Two, four, six, eight, eight soy milks. Um, I got a couple of squashes. We didn't need dead loads because we still have some. Um, so I got a summer fruit and a peaches. I needed a load of baking potatoes for um, a recipe I'm doing that I'm just feeling how big the potatoes. That's a big potato. Um, so I need some bacon potatoes because I'm doing like stuffed potato things. Um, some apple juice because uh, I'm making a load of smoothies and I hit the smoothie making jackpot. So you guys know I love to get, well, love to get, like I do get a lot of fruit and salad and like produce off of Oleo. So I don't tend to buy dead loads of it because I'm constantly in like huge supplies of fruits all different kinds whatever is getting on oleo that day and veggies and all that kind of thing so i rarely will buy it um and then also my favorite thing to do with oleo fruits um i mean most of them are absolutely fine like apples oranges etc but if they're like this kind um and like these obviously look fine because they were still like in date but you know like if it's oleos and they're starting to go like a bit mushy like these pineapples probably like can you see it's gonna go in a little bit like soft so my favorite thing to do with um, when i get them on oleo is to make smoothies so i absolutely hit the jackpot in aldi today for reduced fruits in these like plastic things so these are going to all go in smoothies so we've got a couple things of pineapple we've got one two three four five things of strawberries to make smoothies with i got a pint of strawberries just to like have for the kids to have like some snacks i got some of these which are apples and grapes again going to shove them in with our smoothies got some uh, apples either for smoothies or i might make some peanut butter and a blah, 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 peanut butter and apple um like slices for the kiddies got two big kinds of bananas because the ones these ones they were all green and then i wanted some uh, yellow ones uh, so they can eat straight away so i got some yellow bananas and then some greeny bananas uh, I required a lime for one of my recipes, but they didn't sell single lime, so I had to get five. So I might just squirt some of that into the smoothies as well, because I only need it for one of my recipes this week. But we've got limes, and can't really go wrong with that. Um, we've got a cucumber, some brown onions, um, and then I got some parsley, which I needed for a recipe. Um, so yeah, I got some fresh parsley, and also some blueberries. A big pint of blueberries there, 400 grams. So um yeah that's the fruit and veg that we got i got a lot of cheese kind of things um so i got some grated mozzarella grated cheddar grated cheddar uh mature cheddar mild cheddar in a block some ricotta some soft cheese two packets of cheese strings some feta some seriously spreadable cheese some what is this called what is it called? Parmesan, but I don't think it says Parmesan. What does it say? Grana Panana. <laughs> Grana Padano. But yeah, basically I needed some Parmesan. Uh, two light mozzarella balls. Some baby bowls. Some fresh double cream and some fresh sour cream. And then some squirty cream. Um, cereals and things. We've got some Coca Pops and caramelised biscuits. Some Choco Hoops. Um, and chocolate rice and then i got two boxes of cereal bars 
Um, we've got some yogurt, so Keen will take these to college, uh, as well as other stuff um, like cheese strings and sandwiches, etc. Um, got some of these yogurt drinks, literally, that will last two days if only four of my kids have them. So that's one day, two days. So everything just goes so fast. Um, I needed most of these different kinds of cheeses and creams for some recipes that I'm doing this week. Uh, which is why there's like random like double cream, fresh cream, sour cream, blah 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 because like they're literally like recipes. No, oh, that's it, ingredients. Ingredients. Um three flatbreads. This is cheese and garlic flatbreads, some frozen broccoli florets, 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 I'm not sure. Two bags of French fries, ketchup, and the kids have used nearly all of it already, even though I got it just a moment ago because they used it with the McDonald's. Um and then a couple frozen pizzas just for um one night this week. Uh, but yeah, so that is the first little half. So I will get this popped away and I'll get the rest up for you guys. And we're back with the second half of the haul. Um, so start from this side as always. We've got a lot of eggs. We've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 2, 4, 6, 8, 48 eggs. Luke is on a bit of a protein diet. You'll see by all the eggs and meat situation that's going on, but it is what it is. Um, I got a few extra seasonings. Um, I got this peri peri salt, um, I needed some basil, and then I needed a Mexican seasoning, and then Aldi actually ended up having a Mexican seasoning, and I needed it for tacos. Um, and this actually does say on it, tasty with tacos. It's not focusing, but trust me it does. Tasty with tacos. There we go, tasty with tacos. Um, so I picked this up, so I've never tried this, but um, yeah, pick that seasoning up. Um, I got some tagliatelle pasta and then some regular penne pasta, um, some extra virgin olive oil and fun fact, the most expensive single item that we got from Aldi today was in fact this extra virgin olive oil. Every single other item individually was cheaper, so it is expensive, although it's probably not what Luke likes it, so it is what it is. Um, so Mexican rice, just to have in, microwave rice. Um, I needed some peeled plum tomatoes and some kidney beans. I got a couple cheap pasta sauces because if you aren't new to my channel, you know that I love to just zhuzh up the pasta sauce. So any pasta sauce will do because we, we season it ourselves. We add all the extras, all that good stuff. So this is absolutely fine. Um, some bagel thins. I got a couple of them because I'm going to be doing uh, pizza bagels um, a couple of the days this week for lunches and dinners. Pizza bagels are amazing. The kids love them. Um, we're doing tacos, uh, soft shell tacos. So I did get eight plain mini tortilla wraps. They're the ones that are like the size of your hand, so they're small. And then I did see these in the middle aisle. They are chipotle chili ones, and these were 15p. So I picked up three, but I kind of wish I'd got more and just shoved some in the freezer, but we've got some of them. Um, but I've got a feeling they're going to be a bit spicy, but I'm not sure because it does say mild on it. So it's got the one chilli rating. Um, there we go, one chilli rating. But just in case, oh, don't buy my nails. I've got a black dye all over them from trying to dye some fabric with fabric dye. And I, all I dyed was my hands. Um, I've managed to get most of it off. But... It is everywhere. It's not looking too bad, but yeah, um, I got covered. My hands were literally just pure black all the way up to like my wrists from me trying to use this fabric dye. Um, yeah, so these are 15p, So, but I did get these as well just in case they are a bit too spicy for the kids. So I will have to maybe taste them first before I make the taco towers, is which I'm making this week. Uh, Luke has picked up some ribeye steaks. Uh, Whoopsie, had to change my battery. Uh, 30 day matured, all that good stuff. Don't really know what any of that means. But yeah, he's got some of them for this week for dinners. And some salmons. There's some chorizo. Some bacon lardons. And some beef mints. Um, there's loads of like mints and stuff in the freezer. But I think just needed to stock up on all of that good stuff. I got some milk chocolate rice cakes. A couple of tins of cheap tuna to go in a couple of recipes. Um, I got three of these like barbecue rib micro burgers just to have in. Um, this cake mix, which I'm thinking I'm going to do for the weekend. Creamy Irish Delight cake mix. Uh, so it's got 12 servings. I don't know, I don't know, but we'll make that. We'll make that. Um, some Angel Delight, because I like to put these, you know, in the little goo parts. Alright, so these little goo pots here that you see, if they're made of glass, little ramekins. Put Angel Delight in there, and then... Where are we? Where are we? 
Ooh, it's hard, I'm looking through the camera, I should look in real life. Where is my sprinkles? Aha, here they are, hundreds and thousands. So on top of your Angel Delight, then in the individual ramekins, put your Angel Delight in, sprinkle it in that, and then we call it unicorn poop. Um, just a regular little hundred thousands, but I guess you could use any sprinkles, so you could use like dinosaurs or them or them. But yeah, hundreds and thousands in a little ramekin over angel, pink angel delight. We call it unicorn poop, but I'm guessing you could do it with any angel delight. And then you just individually serve in little little desserts. And then I'm going to make little individual jellies. So I've got two strawberry jellies, some soya sauce, um, crunchy biscuit spread. A duo chocolate spread and then I do have another chocolate spread over there some more hot chocolate some more golden syrup because these are just the kind of things that just like go like they'll have like chocolate spread or biscuit spread on toast and they'll have syrup on toast or they'll have syrup on pancakes for example two pancakes here and um, we've got original Pringles and then I got the sour cream and chive stacks a few little things for the treat box, uh, nine wacko bars, eight seal bars, how many do you get in these, treat size, 12 jives, and I'm assuming it's going to be 12 on this too, oh 16, 16 dreamy bars, they're just going to get emptied out into the treat box, um, mostly I'm going to put the guy like, in Kian's pack up when he goes to his college, um, and then uh, for desserts and things, um, some choco sticks, some teddy faces, cheese curls, Sorry, I don't know why I'm getting confused. What is, I'm trying to look in real, I'm trying to look through the camera and I'm like walking everywhere weird. Anyway, whatever. All right, chocolate, chocolate, dear God. That will kill the dog. It's dog food, definitely not chocolate. Um, a toothpaste, a hand wash, even though I could do with stocking up on all the bathroom stuff. I just got a few little essentials. I've got one toothpaste. Why have I forgetting the name? Uh, hand wash. Uh, just some kids like body wash stuff and then a conditioner extra um but yes guys that is what we got from Aldi this week oh I, I lie I lie I got one more thing um it is one of these magnetic uh sorting boards I picked it up in ice creams because I thought that was quite like unisex because they did have the dinosaur ones and then they also had like a princess one um, and they had like other ones as well like animals and all of that good stuff but I thought because even though the girls love princesses and even though Winnie loves dinosaurs I thought it wouldn't like be fair so I thought ice creams is pretty like unisex so I've been seeing these absolutely everywhere I've seen them on Timu and then I've also looked on Amazon and all the ones I was finding were like 15, 20 pounds this was 4 99 so I thought it's definitely worth a go and if it is good I might even pick up another one. So basically, if, if you're interested, um, you have these magnetic balls and I think what you do is you kind of like shake the whole thing up, you mix the whole thing up and then you use this magnetic pen here to guide them into the right ones. So there's like 10 red ones, well, all the way up to 10. So like one white, two brown, three purple, four yellow, five green, six, nine, nine, ten. So it's good, it's gonna be good for like my homeschooling, like saying like, how many blah 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 all of that good stuff and then you can even do like different challenges and stuff you can be like right i want you to put five red in here five red in here etc etc anything you want do whatever you want with it basically but i'm hoping it's good 4.99 um in the middle aisle and yeah if it is i'm definitely gonna go and pick up another one but yes that is everything let me show you my receipt quick oh before i go look at that look at that That is a big receipt this week. I feel like we got a lot for 200. I was expecting it to be like 350, maybe more. Um, there was literally, like I said before, like five, six items I didn't manage to get. I didn't manage to get my energy drinks. I didn't manage to get spring onions. So spring onions, energy drinks. Oh, I didn't get an enchilada kit. They didn't have any enchilada kits. And so I didn't get any like chicken or vegan chicken to go in the enchiladas because obviously I didn't have an enchilada mix and there wasn't a specific type of cereal that Kim wanted but other than that I think I've got everything for the recipes these weeks this week sorry and then a few little snacky snacks for the kids hello guys it's actually me from the future but Luke's just nipped to the shop it's uh the next day and he needed a couple more like salad -y bits and I actually used all of that uh, fruit and I needed some more for 
the smoothies. Um, so Luke just picked me up a few more bits. So I'm gonna quickly just show you what we got. Um, so we've got some fairy washing up liquid. Uh, needed some bin liners, which I completely forgot the other day. Uh, we've got some mushrooms, a large cucumber, um, mixed peppers, some sweet pointed peppers, two mangoes. These are gonna be so nice with the smoothies, but I really wish we had some pineapple now because pineapple and mango smoothies would have been amazing. Um, blueberries, raspberries. Oh, where's the strawberries gone? I think he's put them in the fridge. Hold on. Where are the strawberries? Aha, uh -huh. there they are. He grabbed some more straws. All them strawberries that you would have just seen have all gone in the smoothies. You smoothie? I'll give you a smoothie now. Hold on. Um, got some more bananas, some romaine hearts. He managed to get spring onions. Yay, they didn't have these the other day. I need spring onions for a recipe I'm doing tonight. Um, some tomatoes on the vine, some beetroot and some red onion. Was I just covering the bloody microphone? I'm not sure. Red onions, beetroot, tomatoes, romaine hearts, bananas, spring onions, peppers, peppers, mangoes, blueberries, raspberries, avocados, cucumbers, sliced mushrooms, the strobes that I just showed you in the fridge, some bin liners and this, and I have just made another delicious smoothie. So yeah, I just wanted to hop on quick to show you the little update, and this is what we got, and we shan't be going shopping again this week, I don't think, but you never know when there's this many kids guys you're always just nipping out for something oh and also he picked the kids up uh, where are they here some uh, mini ice cream so they can have them for dessert lovely back to your regular scheduled program but yes guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did be sure to give it a huge thumbs up subscribe and i'll catch you in this video guys peace Mwah!